welcome aboard. I'm Jason Avargo, and this is Tasty Blue. You might have noticed that I made quite a lot of progress since my last video. Well, that's because I actually did make a video. You know, one of those things that I'm supposed to just edit and render and put out for YouTube and then I'm done with it forever? Nope. Turns out, my game suffered some kind of catastrophic failure, which meant that my recording was lost. And so you guys are gonna watch me beat my own records in all of these levels all over again. Yay! Okay, so I remember doing this level once before, but hey, I gotta do it again. Good memories, good times, you know? All those times when I, I tried so hard to get Two stars. This this level, guys, if you if you even so much as brush those anemone, you are set back so far, like I just did. Like, like you see how I just did the exact thing that I said you weren't supposed to do, and then I did it anyway. Well, that's 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 how this level's gonna go. It's 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 a it's a repeat performance, you know? I think uh, George Lucas said it best when he said it's like poetry. It rhymes. It just goes back and forth. Ah! Ah, it's happening again! I can feel the rage building! Uh, uh, uh. Cause you have to You're required to to go through Dodge! Dodge those mm. It's not even I'm not even touching it! Look at the crazy hitboxes, see? I'm practically I'm practically smothering my face. I just gotta squish my face all over this anemone anemone. But then oh if I go too far, boop! You go it's it's all over. It's all over. Let's, let's try this again. Wow, don't you guys just love doing levels over and over again just so that you don't have to embarrass yourself by putting a video on YouTube where you're get less than two stars on what should be a really easy level if not for the fact that the controls of this game are just freaking nuts. Come on. Come on. You gotta do a little dab. Make sure to dab on those anemones. Dab on them. Ah! Not that hard. Yeah, you know, times like this, I start to question my integrity. I start to question why I do what I do. Why is it that I am so concerned with making sure that I finish games that I start? I have like five unfinished series that I'm never going back to. And yet, with a game like this, well, I know why. I know exactly why I'm still playing this. Because for some reason, you guys enjoy this probably a lot more than I am right now. Where are all the yellow fishies? Where are all the bubble fish? Oh, okay, they're going right in there. When they said bar barracuda breakfast, I don't think they actually meant that it was breakfast for the barracudas. I think they were going for an ironic twist there, wherein you eat the barracudas for breakfast. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, no! Oh, that sets me back like five dories. <laughs> Could I trade your five dories for one anemone? Could I trade you two bubble fish? Two bubble fish for one uh, sea finger. Stop touching them! Why is it... I could just barely brush those sometimes, but other times it's like, oh, they give you a little tickle on your belly button, and then you die! Stop it! I think I figured out the, uh, the rhythm of this level. It's not really important that you use boost all the time, because really a minute 30 is more than enough to... More than enough to finish this level with flying colors. But if you zoom around too much, then you're gonna you're gonna touch something, and it, it sets you so far back. Like just one little brush of the anemones could put you back like six dories or two bubble fish at least, and that's just not good. That's just not enough. Oh, like that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that either. This is this is the strategy, guy. Guys, I'm showing you the uh, since since I'm such a completionist. I'm showing you all what happens when you screw up. It's important that you guys know. Okay, dip down. Don't double dip. Don't go for the double dip. Don't go for the double dip! The Barracuda. Ah, well, that wasn't really a double dip. That was a Barracuda double dipping on my sweet saucy tail. Come on. Okay, now, once I get big enough, I will be able to eat the anemones, and then I will be able to conquer this level, and it will be over, and I will have peace. I will finally be at peace! Come on! Come on! Come on! Out of the way! I got stuff to eat! It's over. It's already over. Don't you guys just love doing levels over and over again? Don't you just love it when you're when you're forced into a repetitive activity for the gratification of 
strangers on the internet. I mean, I'm not. I'm trying to three-star this because it's it's such it's such it should be such an easy game. It should be such an easy game to just to just blow through the entire thing, and yet somehow, through a combination of my own incompetence, my lack of uh, oh, my lack of finger control, and the fact that this game sometimes kind of confusing. Woo! -hoo -hoo. It doesn't turn out that way. Wow, don't you just love it how when you think you've been doing it right for so long and then out of nowhere an errant finger keystroke destroys everything? And you know, now I gotta and I gotta waste at least five or six seconds eating a bunch of stuff. Yes! 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 Oh, I gotta eat a barracuda, don't I? I gotta eat a barracuda. Boom! And I'm still gonna get two stars! Ah! Are you kidding me? Because I wanted to eat the barracuda! It wouldn't have been a barracuda breakfast if I didn't eat a barracuda! I'm just- I'm just saying, okay? I'm gonna call that a win. That's gonna replace the third star. Third star for, uh... Uh, d finishing the theme of the for accomplishing the theme of the level. That's- that's- that's what's- that's what's important. So here we are with treasure ship. I remember this level. This one's easy. You just zip on through and uh, wreck the economy of all the gold-based countries in the world. Wait, was that something down there? No, that was nothing. I'll probably just give up my chances of getting three stars, but... Ow! I just, I just hit my knuckle on the edge of my desk. That actually really hurt. It's what I go through. But I go through for 600, 600 subs. I will, I will break all of my, all of my knuckles on my desk. But I, hey, I got three stars last time for that anyway. So we're gonna, we're gonna move on. Oh great, I remember these guys. This is, this is such riveting gameplay. This was, this is one of the most perfect levels that Tasty Blue has ever made, where you just sit here and wait for oysters to show up, and. Oh, but there's a twist. If you get hit by the oysters, then you shrink, and then you have to get the oyster, the pearls all over again. And it's, it's it's one of the most amazing things I've ever done. Oh, good! I just got hit by a, an oyster. That means I gotta collect like five extra pearls that I normally wouldn't have to, because I I think I think that's what this game is doing. It's it's trying to force you to deal with the banality of existence, you know, the triteness of the repetitive motions that we go through in our day-to-day -day lives. And even the tiniest of setbacks can push you back so far. You think you're getting somewhere and then all of a sudden an oyster closes his jaws around your head at like that. And then and then you're you're done. You you, you lose you lose your riches, you lose your wife, your your dog walks out on you and they're like, hey, I thought you were better than this. Back in the day, you used to be a master at playing Tasty Blue, Jason. You used to be a master at uh, dodging down and getting pearls out of the mouths of man-eating oysters. Whatever happened to you? Well, I'll tell you what happened. I got an explosion in subscriber count, and then I started devoting my life to this thing that I never thought I would have to devote my life to. And in spite of all the pain, and in spite of all the suffering that I'm enduring, I'm just so addicted to watching the numbers grow like, like a gambler. Somebody, I have a problem. I have a problem, okay? I'm, I'm fully willing to admit that. But I'm not about to let you judge me for it. I, I judge myself for it on a, on a regular basis, but... Don't, don't, you, don't you tell me what's wrong. I already know what's wrong here. What's wrong is that these oysters are taking way too freaking long to give me their pearls so they can be done with this stupid level. Come on! I mean, there's nothing else around here. It's That's it. This is, this is all there is. This is the entire level. I mean, it... Oh, right, I forgot. You go to the next tier of oyster. See, once again. Yeah, the 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 mundane horror of everyday existence. You you think you're done, you pass the test, you get your diploma, you're done with you think you thought you were done with the drama of high school. Oh no. Life is about to kick you in the in the pearls really really hard. See, outside of high school, there's just an even bigger high school called college. Just like how outside of these oysters, there's an even bigger trio of oysters. And you have to wait for them to provide for you, because there's no way in, in heck 
that you are ever going to get anywhere without uh, these, uh, these these oysters within oysters. It's, it's like, it's, what, what is that? Is that are, we, are these supposed to be student loans, I guess? Is that what that's symbolic of? Anyway, I've finally eaten them, so... I got one star. I got one star because... Because life sucks. And and I and one time I got an F in math, and that set me on this path to making videos for strangers on YouTube. Stay in school, kids. Krakko dining. Okay, yeah, I remember this. It's it's a level that's a lot more traditional. It's full of stuff that you can eat. But at the same time, there's those crocodilians who want to make you their croco dinner. Croco don't know where I was going with that. Yeah, I got two stars that time, but I got three stars last time, so I think we're gonna call that a wash. Well, it's, it's evened out. Barrel stacks. Whoa! Whoa! This is where all the jumping in the hoops comes in handy. And they said that it would never be a valuable life skill. But who's laughing now? Probably the guys who are not stuck in tidal pools eating barrels for a living. Isn't it amazing how I'm only putting in half the effort and yet I still get to walk away with three stars? <laughs> oh, that's the great thing about... That's the great thing about looking back on your past accomplishments. You can feel good about the fact that you haven't done anything in the present. And then you just kind of you just kind of go back and forth like this the entire time. I mean, if they want to keep serving up little finger food or fin food, then uh, I'm not going to complain. Are you guys ever going to... Wow, okay, they wisened up. Okay. I forgot how quickly this escalated. Oh! Woo! It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And there's torpedoes everywhere. Okay. I get it. 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 They don't like being eaten. You know, I can understand that. That's that's a common uh, that's a common misconception that, that uh, submarines actually enjoy being destroyed by giant man-eating dolphins. But it's a stereotype that... Ah! I am going to help break today. It's torpedo speeds that I can't finish the level yet. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. I can understand that. I mean, my pain is only a temporary thing. You know, while while the pain of those who make this game will be eternal. Can I be done with the level yet? Can I please? I filled the bar. Thank you. Okay. I got. Yeah, yeah. You guys don't want to know how long it took me to get three stars on that one. But you're about to see how little time it took me to get one star in this one. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. It keeps happening, bro. I told you about sea mines. Ah! Yeah, see? 40 seconds. I have no idea how you're supposed to go through all those mines in 27 seconds or less. But we don't have the time to figure that out. Because we got to move on to ponies. Where's my... Where'd Celestia go, anyway? I need to bring her back to the desk. All I got here is good old Snoopy, who I can't even fit into the frame right now. But rest assured, he's watching. He's always watching. Ponies! Except they're not really ponies, they are seahorses. And oh good, our old friends, the oysters, are back. Don't you snap on my bum! Don't you snap on my bum! He snapped my bum. My bum's very fragile! Gosh darn it! Why does, what is wrong with me? Why is it that I always run headlong into the problems of life? Why is it that I always charge headfirst into catastrophe? Why is it that trouble's always knocking at my door and then I open it up with a smile and I'm like, Hey! Hello darkness, my old friend. Come on in. Enjoy the couch. Drink all my, uh, my cider. Drink all my beer. Eat all my food. Take all the joy and happiness out of my life and replace it with a wonderful game called Tasty Blue. I'm not done yet. There we go. There we go. Still three stars. Wait a minute, did I actually get three stars last time? Yeah, I did. And there we go again. Okay, so here we are. Jets and helicopters, they finally wisened up. They realized that sitting there immobile on the deck of an aircraft carrier it's not the best thing to do. Like what I'm doing now. Like this, this right here. This is not what you're actually supposed to be doing. I mean, actually, it's working out pretty well. I kind of, uh, 
Oh, cool. I got a little exploit going on here. See, I, I'm i weighing them both down, so now... The, oh, okay. Well, that was, that was nice while it lasted. Wow, isn't it so great how when you get to a level and all there is is just two things to eat in a small area that you can't actually... Don't you guys just love it how when you're going straight towards the thing you want to eat that... Oh! That somehow you break the game to the point where you just get big enough to eat aircraft carriers. Cool. I mean, I'm not going to look a gift off in the mouth. Oh! Look at this! The screen is full! The screen is full of things to eat. What is this place full of so many one- And of course, there's, there's things that want to eat me too. But that's not- that's not important. What is important is that we finally found a place to- Oh, okay. Okay, if we're gonna have that much competition, then I'm gonna put on my game face. I'm not gonna be nice anymore. The fins have come off. And another- Oh, a white tip reef shark. That is amazingly specific. Especially after so long of seeing everything just labeled fish. I mean, what changed? Did you suddenly decide to start seeing fish as people? Well, it's a bit late for that since I'm eating everybody. It's gonna be one of those levels where you just keep getting bigger and bigger after you've already been small. Aqua cars, hi. And now... The sharks. And then everything else in this wonky ecosystem that apparently includes underwater cars. And if you look to your left, you can see a giant dolphin leaping out of the water that's about to eat us. Ah, no! Wow, okay, apparently everybody wants to see the giant dolphin that is big enough to eat ships and just keeps getting bigger the more ships it eats. I mean, that sounds like a wonderful thing to take the family out on a cruise for. Little Jimmy, he's about to experience the wonders of nautical exploration firsthand. Three stars, never going back to that level. Screw you, I'm moving on with my life. Oh, look, we're tiny again. That doesn't make any sense. And they're still shooting torpedoes at me. Guys, I'm, I'm small. I'm really small. You, you can stop now. Oh, goodness. Ooh, this is, this is hairy. This suddenly got really hairy. Whoa, those those things know they're, they they know how to do their job. They are coming right at me. Ooh. I didn't even have to get big enough to eat the destroyers, which is nice. Good of them, good, good on them to do that. Tail of a dolphin. Hey, so it turns out that I actually played the game some more after it crashed that first time and I didn't record it. So I spent like 10 minutes just talking into nothing because I'm stupid. So, here's Tail of a Dolphin. Again. So now we gotta do it again. In order to show you guys the totality of Tasty Blue. It's amazing! Ah, let's just, let's just start out hitting the fire hoop so that, you know, we are even smaller than, uh, than normal. We're just even smaller than the default size to, to begin this level with. That's just, just to make it harder on ourselves. Just because I'm so good at video games. Just because I'm so good at video games! Oh, I lost my ball. Oh, good, it comes back. Because, you know, oh, I lost it again. Just, just because I felt like it. Just wanted to show you guys what happens when you when you completely screw up your game. I just I just love how I'm just constantly failing now. Like you see that guy over there with the yeah, eat the fire hoop, destroy it, kill it. Like that guy, why is he crying so much? He shouldn't be crying. You don't cry over spilled dolphins, man. Did you know what happens? That happens. It just keeps going. It just keeps going forever and ever. I think the I think at the point where you could feel carpal tunnel syndrome setting in is the point where you've played enough Tasty Blue. I don't know if I got three stars for that last time, and I don't really care. It's time for the partaking of the black thing. Congratulations on the success of the Penguin Project, but now the world needs your help. Giant sea creatures are eating everything. I have the perfect solution. My creation will go faster and bigger than the other creatures, and eat them. Save us now, no shark! You know, there's something intensely dissatisfying about missing anything in this game. You just become less concerned with the score and more concerned with eating everything that you were targeting. Because, like, the game tells you, hey, there's something to eat over there, and then your game is like, oh, actually, no, you're not gonna eat it. And you're like, oh, okay. And it's just, it leaves this empty feeling inside you that you just want to fill with more stuff. And I guess that's the, uh, gambler addiction cycle of this game, you know? 
so now we're eating what? Zooplankton? Okay. Okay, see, phytoplankton are basically plants. Zooplankton are actually, like, alive in the sense that they are living. <laughs> what? Zooplankton are the animals and phytoplankton are the plants, basically. There, I just, I just said something educational. Now I can mark this as education and YouTube won't take away my ad revenue, right? Isn't that how it works? You just, you just fill your videos with, with inane babble and then you just throw in one thing that uh, is kid friendly and then you become a millionaire? That's how YouTube works, right? What the heck is that? You guys have never seen more riveting gameplay. So what is this now? It's just an endless chain of ever larger and more predatory shrimp. Is, is this is this what the is this what the world is made of? Is this is this how early life was? Just a, a bunch of shrimp avoiding each other and trying to eat each other? Oh look, I killed him. What was that? That's krill. Krill. Oh, okay. And there's an even bigger shrimp. Gotta should have called this level shrimp cocktail. Can I, can I eat something different now? Can I eat something different? Oh, good. I can eat even bigger shrimp. Bronze. Whatever. Variety is the spice of life, and yet all I've been eating this entire level is... Variations on the theme of crustacean. Crustacean variation. That's another good name for this level. That's great. That's great. You just wanna- you're just gonna keep going. You just wanna keep going. And 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 going, 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 and going. And now, can I eat the penguin? No, I can't eat the penguin. Took me seven minutes. Still to restart it. Still to restart it. That's how great I am. That's how great I am in this game. I have not been trying to play this. This is not. This game has not been giving me trouble for the last hour and a half. What are you talking about? I'm a good captain. I'm a good gamer. I'm a good YouTuber. This is this is amazing. All the this is this, this, this glitches, glitches, three stars. I either three stars. I died zero times, and and I am and will remain your captain. If you decided that you like this video, go ahead and leave a like button. It will keep me from killing myself. <laughs> if you decided that you like this video, please leave a like. I think I think my fingers. I'm gonna go tend to my fingers. I'm gonna go put splints on them. I'm gonna go immerse them in ice. And then I gotta think about what I've done, and I'm gonna think about what I'm gonna do when I come back for the last leg of Tasty Blue. I am Ed Wilbermain, your captain. See you guys on the next leg of our journey. Bye bye.